So I sat down this morning and deciding what today's video was going to be about. And I thought maybe I'd highlight some of the things I like or dislike about the new football manager so far. And while there are a few bugs and bits that need to be ironed out, like the data hub, I'm really loving the game. Loving the game, the new animations, the dribbling and all sorts of little touches. It's very, very good. But there's one thing I really hate. I, 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 I just don't like it. And that is transfer value. I'm going to have a rant. So prepare yourselves. Let's go talk about it. So for those of you that don't know what this change is, basically there is this transfer value. I'm on the scouting like player search screen. There is a transfer value. So with the scouting that I have done, it is assumed that Jude Bellingham, I should be able to buy Jude Bellingham for between 100 and 118 million. The more scouting you do, the sort of narrower that bracket becomes. Okay. Now, firstly, let's take a step back. Last season, last year's, and all the previous years, it was just one figure, right? Which I'm presuming would have been like 109 million. I think the vast, vast majority of players understand that that might not necessarily be how much you have to pay. Yes, some there's going to be some people that are watching this video that I'm about to offend. Yes, some people don't seem to get that if I have a player versus... that If, if Man United have a young player that's valued at £1 million... And I offer, hey, £2 million. And they say to me, hey, no, we want £150 million. Clearly not worth that money. But what Man United are saying is he's not for sale. Unless you want to pay us ridiculous money, by all means. But generally speaking, not for sale. So when you get those big like comeback offers that are just astronomical, that just means they don't want to sell the player, right? But... For the vast majority of time, if I look at somebody and this guy and he's worth 50 million, I know that that's kind of a rough starting point depending on how much the team that I'm negotiating with wants to keep him or do a deal or whatever it is, right? So I think the previous system worked fine. There's a couple of things that I hate about this new system. One is it's ugly. Just a, This is just a small thing, right? It's just, it's, it's, it's ugly. Speaking of ugly, I just realised I had the light off, so now you can see my ugly face. Right, um, <laughs> it's just ugly, and with the really annoying columns that are in Football Manager, it's it could just get a bit... And I've heard the problems that using different currencies that are over one, you know, syllab one syllable, or uh, like three letters long, right? It messes up entirely. So it, it just it just looks a little bit ugly, right? But, so here's my biggest problem with it. Firstly, I've done a lot of testings. You don't always get the player for their transfer value. So even though I've scouted this guy fully, and that's the transfer value, so this is supposed to give me a better idea of what actually I would need to pay for him. Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. The main problem I have with it um, is... My own squad. Okay. How? Okay. I feel like I should see the boxes just, just, just keep. I feel like I should know the transfer value of my own players. The problem with this is, let's take a random player. For example. Okay. Before, I knew the value of my player. Let's say Joel Matip. Let's use Joel Matip as our example player. Okay. Before. He'd be valued at 35 million. And I'll be like, okay, cool. That's roughly his value. If I offer him to clubs, they might not pay that value because they might not want him as much. Shock horror. They might offer less. That's fine. Right? You take you take that into account. But with this problem I've noticed, and I've had this loads of times already, is that let's say Joel Matter, I'm like, actually, I don't want to keep him. His legs are made of balsa wood. I don't want to keep him. He's doing me head in. He's not available enough. Okay, so I want to sell him. So the game is telling me now, because it's giving me this bracket, it almost suggests, oh, that is what you're going to sell him for, which doesn't mean that shit at all. You still might have to sell him for 20 million because nobody wants him. So this giving you a bracket sort of suggests it is definitely within that number and it's not but the biggest problem is let's say okay so i'm selling joel matip okay we we know roughly his transfer value so um i'm gonna say 
offer them to clubs. We'll go, well, let's just go in between, shall we? Uh, 30, 36 mil, 35 and a half mil. Okay, all the transfer list. Thank you, mate, very much. There's a fucking game on, isn't there? For fuck's sake, I knew there'd be a fucking game on. Okay, right, wait a minute. Good news, we won 3-0. <laughs> Um, but to prove my point, or not, as the case may be, so, in this occasion, we have had two offers for Joel Matip. Nice to see the AI doing different amounts in the offers, by the way. More of that, please, so they don't look like they all copied their, each other's homework. Um, so is Like, and this almost, like, disproves the transfer value anyway, because, well, hang on, everybody values him differently, obviously. So, that's weird, but okay. Um... So they, they just want full money out front. But you will have experienced, right, when you transfer list a player, let's say you offer them out or you just transfer list a player, you know, test the waters. And I've had at least 10 times this has happened now where players will say, that's far too much money. You're asking that, you're asking far too much money. That's like Joel Matip saying, no offers came in for him. He says, you ask him, you should transfer list me and then you'll have to negotiate a price and it's like something ridiculous. It's like 20 million. But like, I don't know what, how, I don't know the value of Joel Matip, right? So how does he know? Like nobody, how does he know? How is he upset with his value? I don't know what his value is. It's a magical number. In essence, transfer value of your own team should either be non-existent or whatever you me as the manager of the team sets it to or the like what the board would minimum accept for this player because that's the real transfer value of your own players right it's what you'd sell them for so this is point entirely pointless almost so i just think i know some this is obviously this is not on that mass it's not a game breaker or anything it's just you know it's this is a bit of jest this video but it is something I just think like is unnecessary personally. Um, and then it's like saying, well, okay, it's transfer value. Like, okay, so now his transfer value is 35 million currently. Boom. Now his transfer value is 200 million. But it's not 200 million. That might be his asking price, but his transfer value is not 200. I just think they're confused as to what this money, is, this number is. And I think... I don't see that there was a problem before. If you look at big important websites that Sky and BT Sport and all the YouTube channels use for statistics, like places like TransferMark, have you ever used, is it TransferMark, is that what it's called? One of the big trans, most, any of the big transfer websites where you can search players and their statistics, they will give you one figure as the estimated value, that's what you should call it, estimated value, not estimated cost. Because the value of Virgil van Dijk, in essence of how good he is as a player, might be 100 million. But the value to me, because we've got no other centre-backs and he's the last man and he's our captain, might be 200 million. So just like estimated value. And we can work from it that. We can, we can still... There you go. You've got your estimated value. But then I can go in and then I can say agent. And the agent will give me a better idea of what that cost of actual buying him would be but at the, at the moment he's just giving me exactly the figure I already have so unless my scout somehow went to watch Jude Bellingham sat in the stands and went that guy's going to be valued between 100 and 119 million and their own the agents sitting there going separately have come up with the same figure that's impressive but you know what I mean it's just just have it estimated value or something like that. It's, it's, you know, it's an asking price when it's like a transfer list or when I offer a, an amount and you say, no, I want this amount. That's your asking price. I just think it's just completely unnecessary. And like I said, if you mess about with some of the currencies in the game, which thankfully I don't have to do because I'm an idiot and I can't understand other people's currencies because numbers, um, it, it messes with the columns as well because the columns are fucking horrendous. Um, but yeah, I just, let me know what you think. And I know some people like it. Like I said, I, I know some people are like, oh, okay, it gives it a bit more flavor because I was a bit confused before how it was one figure. But then 
they'd ask for an entirely different figure that's 10 times as much. But then this number doesn't represent sometimes what you actually would have to pay. I wouldn't automatically, I'm, I'm not going to expect 7 million for Simicast. So why is this figure there? Like, yeah, you know, it's sort of, it's muddled. And I think it's, it just have it as estimated value. Transfer, I can go and look at Mo Salah on Transfermark or one of the other big websites that does statistics. And they look at Mo Salah and they look at his age and how much he earns and what he did previously. There's a big algorithm and what how many goals he scored this season and all the important stats. And they use all that, mix it in a big pot, do the maths and go, roughly... We, I don't know what it is, but let's say roughly, we say Mo Salah is a hundred. He's a his value is about a hundred million pounds of a good of a player he is. But anyone with six plus brain cells will know that that's not doesn't mean anybody can buy Mo Salah for ninety for a hundred million pounds. You would be looking at one hundred and fifty plus, right? And so, and we we can all I think accept that how it's worked. So I think we could have just left it. I had no problem with how it worked before. I think for me personally, it just feels like one of those things. Sometimes football manager f makes changes for the s not all the time, like just occasionally. I feel like sometimes it makes changes for the sake of needing to change something. Um, and so, and this was one of those ones that I just don't think. I'd love to know your thoughts though, because I know because I've mentioned it a couple of times to some friends, and some people are like, "Yeah, I quite like it," but. What about for your own team? I can understand, I, like this. Maybe this is the compromise for other players. When you're play, doing a player search, give us a little bracket. Um. But for your own players, that it just seems weird. Can we have a like better figure? I've, I've had, I've fallen out with players multiple, multiple times because, I transfer listed them. I don't really know what their value is, and they complain that I've transfer listed them too high, even though I set their transfer list at the bottom end of this. Or below it sometimes. And they're saying it's still too high. So then it's like, well, what is that? For? I'm confused. Is that, is my own transfer value based on my own scouts looking at my own team? So if I had shit scouts or whatever, or staff, would I have terrible values of my own players and stuff? That just seems a bit random. And I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of that if that's the way it works. But I, like I said, I'm not sure. But I'd love to know your feedback. Are you okay with it as it is? Maybe just keep it for search for other people's players, but not your own team, or just go back to the old one. Just call it estimated value, and then everybody would kind of, or you know, I think everybody could work that out there. But there you go, there you go. My little rant's done for the day. I feel better. I've got it off my chest. I do like, I do enjoy a sort of jokey rant. Like I said, it doesn't bother me that much. I'll get used to it and stuff. I hate this great fucking boxy thing though, especially when you've got like non-league players that are valued between like 100k and 650k and it's quite small font and for blind people like me it's tricky um <clears throat> before i go i just want to say for those that don't know i have a new brand new channel so if you want to be one of the cool kids that's like i was there first yeah actually i was one of his first uh first million subscribers i'm going big uh i was one of his first million subscribers so i was you know cooler than you you know how you we all done it we all did it i used to like offspring before pretty fly for a white guy came out and then everybody was fucking banging on about offspring and i'm like oh they fucking changed now i don't like them they got oh mainstream oh no right but you felt smug you know we all like to feel smug so i have a new channel it is about football funny enough but more just general football and i'm trying to make it a place for people that like me that love football but also don't take it too seriously and can see the ridiculous ridiculousness of grown men kicking a ball around, you know, in front of millions of people, doing it for millions of pounds and stuff like that. You know, like Klopp says, it's, you know, it's the football's amazing and it's our lives and stuff, but it is the least important thing. And, and so I want to sort of just chat about stories in football that pique my interest and everything. There's no set, set schedule. I've got a couple of videos, one about Gerard being appointed as um, Villa boss and one about Eddie Howe being appointed as Newcastle boss. And, but there's going to be some like rants as well about, oh, I definitely want to do about diving because that's, I, I hate it. I find it embarrassing. The link is in the description if you want to check it out and go and support it. Um, like I said in, I think on Twitter, to get monetization on the other channel, I need a thousand subscribers, which I already have. And I also need, is it 4,000 watch hours? So I need all of you to watch the video, eat both videos at least 50 times.
I think you can watch it five times a day and it still counts as a view. So you can't just leave something on repeat. So watch it five times a day for the next 10 days straight. <laughs> I feel it's a bit more of a commitment than I was first planning. Okay, never mind. Just go and subscribe to it and leave a comment. That'd be great. Um, and like I said, it's just a chill place to talk about football, a bit more relaxed. Hopefully try and steer away from that football fandom side that just likes to yell abuse. I like banter and having a joke at other teams and getting a joke back and all that sort of stuff. But when people are just abusive to each other, football fans are just abusive to another football fan. Don't want that shit around it. So I'm trying to build a little community that's like-minded people. So if that's of interest to you, go check it out. If you have any ideas for next week's content, I've got a good one that I want to do. But like, if you have any ideas, I'll put it on the list of Friday content. Um, also, The Journeyman is coming back, obviously, probably next week. But it might be the week after. I'm not going to rush it. There's a few bits. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for... <sighs> I'm waiting for a few costume pieces from Amazon. Um, don't ask. Don't. <laughs> there might be a shell suit involved. Uh, just um, so... It will start when it starts, but um, there's one more episode of the Man United save as well um, because it's all gone horribly wrong. So you might want to check that out as well. But thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of these transfer values. Can you can you just rename it and it would feel better? Estimate it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.